go ahead and go into our Cowboys at um, Cowboys at uh, Titans um, preview. And I'm going to uh, tell you how I do that as well on here. <clears throat> okay. We've already uh, looked at the dev chart since they play tomorrow. It should be as accurate as possible. Um, and we got all the guys. Wolf, what's going on with you? How you been, man? So, well, Scotty, what's up? What's up? Appreciate y'all for the uh, for coming through. Oh, snap. It's a raid. Oh, snap. Big raid. Big raid. I appreciate everybody coming through from the raid. How was your stream? Fox, appreciate you, man. Damn, big love, bro. I, mean, I didn't even know you was getting off, man. I just hopped on randomly. What's up, Scotty? What's going on, y'all? We uh we about to uh do this preview for the uh for the uh Thursday night game uh coming into uh coming out to uh tomorrow night. Yeah, same bro. I, I seen you was doing the uh the Among Us, man. <laughs> getting those little getting those kills, man. How was your stream, man? Was it good? Seemed like it was pretty fun. Uh, as imposter for real. Big sub from Fox, bro. I appreciate you, man. Always showing love. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Glad you had a great time streaming, bro. To be honest, man, you streaming and being consistent with it, seeing your growth actually inspired me, bro. Keep doing what you're doing, man. You're going to be super successful, man, in this. I can already tell. Um, Right now, uh, we're just doing a preview of the uh, Cowboys uh, versus the Titans. Uh, for Thursday night football, uh, it's going to be an eight fifteen game. I checked the I checked the weather around that time. Tomorrow it's going to be uh, mostly cloudy. Uh, we're doing eleven minute quarters instead of uh, fifteen because Madden is kind of crazy. Uh, so just to kind of deal with like the pace of the game, uh, we're going to put it on an eleven instead of fifteen, so the score don't be too high. And um, I like to put it on a quick presentation so you're not uh, you know going through all that commentary and stuff. All right, so anybody that's interested in football and want to just chill out with me, anybody that's a, uh, that's into betting, if y'all into betting and y'all want to use this to uh, make y'all picks for tomorrow, that's kind of what this is for. Just to be as, uh, just to see uh, how the game going to go tomorrow, see what picks based on these uh, predictions, uh, you know, pan out. But uh, I was surprised that they uh that they returned right there. That was a bad bad decision, bad decision to, to go out there, start them off at the 14. Kind of wild. Got first and ten on the 14. Tannehill, oh he threw an interception already. Oh my god. <laughs> oh that's terrible, bro. That's terrible. Oh my goodness. They got great field position. And the reinforcements come in as they're gonna stop him mm. and they go, and they don't want to go down early too because they don't have Derrick Henry. I think he doubts it for this uh for this week. Yo Scotty, my day is doing good, man. How was your day, man? Let me know if I if I sound too low. Last uh last stream I sound a little bit too low. Mm. Yeah, they eating them up right now. Um, the Titans got a uh, got a lot of um, injuries on defense this week too. So I think uh, anybody looking for like a uh, you know looking for that uh, that underdog to win this this uh, this bet, I don't think it's going to happen. Hey man, that's what's up, bro. Yeah, you gotta definitely get the uh, get the house clean when you can, man. Cleaning the house, uh, you know, makes you uh, lifts lifts my spirits at least for real. Makes me feel more relaxed and more free when the house is clean. I see if they're gonna score on this drive. They got great field position. Quick turnover. Got a first down right there. First down as the tackles made at the Titans 12 yard line. Give them 10 yards yeah, I think they're I think they definitely might get six right here. But knowing the Cowboys, you never know. They definitely uh <laughs> they definitely make it interesting, you know. 
And in most cases with your tight end, you feel like you got a mismatch no matter who's covering it. Is it a small mm. quarterback? Yeah, that's a, it a yeah, that's six. That's six. That was just way too much space. Yeah, I don't think I don't think the defense with all their injuries is going to is going to uh, be able to uh, stop the uh, the Cowboys. Um, uh, based on like uh, yeah yeah, it's, uh, I think this uh, I think I just uh, got to come up with a better game plan, bro. Definitely. I'm, uh, what, what I'm going to start doing is uh, if, if a game is doing better on Twitch than YouTube, I'm going to stream it on Twitch and just upload it to YouTube. I think YouTube is definitely the future. It's just really not there yet. As far as like live streaming goes, still not there yet. But they're working on it. But if a game does better like live streaming wise for YouTube, I'll, I'll live stream on there. The only thing I don't like about this quick presentation is it takes a while after they score to to start the next possession. I don't know why it's like that. But uh, okay, seven zero. I think I think Dallas will definitely score maybe 35, 40 points. I think that's realistic. That's normally what they score, especially against bad teams. But the question is, will their defense <laughs> also give up 35, 40 points? I don't know. We'll see. Threw an interception the first time they had the football. Wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others, where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some mm. of those plays. And they can't even really run because I think Derrick Henry is going to be out. Ooh. He's throwing them bombs, man. He's throwing them bombs, man. That's a 20 dive reception, bro. God dang. Yeah, I guess I guess because Derrick Henry is out, they're gonna be throwing bombs. I think that's kind of realistic, you know what I'm saying? Because I think that's what they're at least gonna expect. But with it being Tannehill, it's definitely gonna be a lot of interceptions. They actually ran it. Haskins. Yeah. yeah, I don't think they're gonna get any runs off this this week. If, uh, if, uh, if uh, Henry can't make it in, he is doubtful right now. Normally, if you're doubtful the day before the game start, you're not going to play. So I took him out of the uh, the death chart. Second and ten, they're already on their uh, Titans half. I mean, on the Cowboys half. What was he throwing it at? It's terrible. It's <laughs> terrible, bro. <laughs> I think this drive was about to be dead in the water. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't see them pulling off a ten-yard play right here. They have been throwing bombs, but one was an interception and one was a, a lucky catch <laughs> with a sideline. So we'll see. Definitely a shotgun. Oh my goodness, he got sacks. <laughs> Uh, let me see what the uh, let me see what the money line is right now. Let's see what the, what the song on pace with. Take a look at DraftKings right now. So right now, uh, let's see here. Right now, uh, got Cowboys minus twelve for real. Cowboys minus twelve. I don't think you can see it. And they'll be looking to make this a two score advantage. Had the Whoa, touchdown Phantom the first said you want to offer promotion. Two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. For, uh, no, no, th no, thank you, Phantom. We like, we like doing organic stuff over here, bro. I appreciate the offer, though. And say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. Mmm, just breaking tackles left and right. I know you're good, Scotty. No, it's, 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 it's definitely fine, bro. Oh, <laughs> you good, man. That's going to happen. Mm, so, I think the Cowboys might, de they definitely might, ooh, they definitely might get three. But the way they, the way they, the way they driving on the Titans defense, they might get six. They might get another six points on, on, on this drive. 
It might be a slaughter, bro. Thursday night might be a slaughter, bro. The only thing I could say is maybe the human element might be uh might play into it. You know, it's a short week. Uh, they're going to be uh, away. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes that don't even matter. Oh, I don't know what happened to it. I don't even know. Let me go ahead and give Wolf Gaming a follow back. Oh my goodness, man. I think uh, I think I like the 11 minute quarters because just like how this is playing out, it'll definitely be a blowout with 15 minutes, and I don't think it'll be that much of a blowout realistically. Like I said, I think with the pacing, because we're already uh, about to be at five minutes, and hopefully the Titans can get a good drive, so maybe be like 14-3, maybe, maybe uh, by the end of the first quarter, we'll see. Right now, I mean, it's third and ten. It's third and ten. The Titans putting up a stop right now, so they might get away with three points. They just got to lock it down right here, man. Right here. Come on, man. If I want to have Titans defense, I'm like, this is it right here. Focus up, focus up, focus up. Shut this down, shut this down. They gave up six, man. Right down the middle. CD Lamb, man. How do you let that? How do you let that happen? Another impressive drive. So they're two for two, two touchdowns. Charles, a great start to this ball game. I spoke too soon, man. I was, I was hoping they would get a stop. Because I mean, the thing is, <clears throat> I guess the money line is definitely not a go-to. If you don't know what the money line is, pretty much you just bet on what team will win. Um, so if you bet like the, the team that they think is going to lose, um, uh, based on how much, um, how much is the plus. So like right now, Titans is plus 400, 480. So that means for like every hundred dollars that you bet, you'll win $480 if they win. So right now it's looking like you don't want to bet <laughs> on the Titans because that's going to be a hundred dollars loss for real. So, uh, not that you had to bet a hundred dollars, but. It's just to, to to best explain it, but um. Following the touchdown, here's Mar to kick it away. You could also, I mean, it might be a sure bet for the uh, the for the Cowboys uh, as far as the spread no goes. Uh, the you know, you might want to bet that the Cowboys will Tennessee cover 12 points. So if they win more than 12 points, uh, win by more than 12 points, then uh, if you bet the minus 12, then you'll get the uh, get that get to win that bet. So, <clears throat> but those aren't as like money. I mean, those are the more consistent ways to win. But you don't get as much for winning those bets as you do betting like the, the underdog for winning. So right now, uh, <clears throat> Titans trying to get some momentum going. You know, they at home, so hopefully they don't have no problems with that, but they just got to put a solid draw together. On second down, here's a run from Haskins. After this, if I feel like it, I'll play the uh, I'll play some Witcher before for a bit. It's ten thirty, kind of early for me, so I might be able to get some Witcher in uh, after this game. It's third and one. Can we get a Can we get a third down conversion? They can they run it though? Is the thing? I think is the question though. They're not running. Ooh, they actually got it. And he will have a Titans first down. Um, no, no break. I actually have work tomorrow. And that's well executed there on third down. Surprisingly, I didn't even get the stream during my break from work. It's just, uh, things just weren't aligning, you know, with my energy. I've been taking, uh, I've been taking some superfoods that my wife bought. 
and it's actually only been about three or four days I've been taking it, but it's a bunch of greens and stuff that I, that I barely eat in my daily life. And um, I have energy now, bro. It's only been three or four days, but I have some energy uh, to do what I love to do now. So uh, while I was talking, they, they got the third down conversion. Uh, let's see. Can they get another another first down? Let's go, baby. Okay. Oh, break a broke a tackle. Okay, I see you. I see you. I see you. Okay. All right. They showing some sign of life, man. Now the thing is, uh, I put the settings on to where it will be as realistic as possible. You know, it's not always gonna be 100 percent accurate, but I have seen. In some cases, my uh, my predictions are um, close when it comes to like how close the game is and stuff like that. So that's why I still watch these because they're still entertaining to me. And um, you can also use it for like batting and stuff. You know, I I ain't saying you know go bat based off of what you see here today. Just in case you lose, you don't you know come saying I owe you money, but. <laughs> I think it's I think it's interesting that yeah, some 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 sort of research like this. Big sack, big sack. This is why sometimes you need a mobile quarterback. He should have then got out of that pocket. I probably would have been a touchdown if he left. Look, look at that gap right there to the left. Oh my god! Should have ran right up that gap. Worked their way past the goal line. They wanted they had a 14 right now. On that play. Unfortunately, He's still looking. Against them. Now they have to try and pick a little hitch route. The I think they're coming away with three, man. They don't look like they get a six right goal. here, man. He's just playing too conservative right there on that second down. Went, I guess they want to get inside the 10 again, but they only get one play, so. I don't know about that one. Cowboys defense looking strong. They might shut this down. Tannehill. Run, thank you. I was been said that, bro, but just and slow, slow stuff fake going right away. Five yards. Five yards that time they putting up three. And, and, and if I was the coach, though, we at home. It's Thursday night. I'm going for it, bro. I'm going for it. Are they going to go for it? No, nah, they're not going to kick it down. Right. I'm a Ravens fan. My coach, John Harbaugh, so I'm used to going for it on fourth down right there. It's all good. They can, you know, they want to put some points up on the board because uh, their defense is injured. So they they don't make if they don't put no points right there. It might be twenty one zero. That's a that's a wrap for them. But I told y'all based on the pacing, based on putting in eleven minute quarters, it might end up fourteen three. And I was right, fourteen three. We'll see if uh, Cowboys can get a score off with a minute and twenty two seconds left on the clock. But uh, I think 14-3 for the first quarter of the game is realistic. You know what I'm saying? Cowboys can go for about 35, 40 points. So they're on pace for that right now. Titans normally put up around like 14, 20 points. So <laughs> they definitely on pace for that right now. So especially with Derrick Henry possibly not being in. Next uh, tomorrow, they definitely going to be struggling putting some points up on the board. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. But it is good to see the Titans yeah, you know, fight back a little bit. Week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute. But did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? Mm, that broken tackle. Oh, oh my goodness, man. There's never a doubt I hate to see it. We were going to be successful in this one. The Titans fan it is. Rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. So they're making a real first quarter. Mm, took three people to get him down. down. Yikes. Well, he was not ready. <laughs> he was not ready, bro. Ah, uh, big trucks. That was a nice replay. Oh, I was about to say, not another broken tackle, bro. But that was still a good effort to, uh, to not get a tackle for loss. That was a great effort. Mm. Okay, Titans defense is... I mean, that was a good stop right there. That might motivate them. Ah, come on. Okay. 
What is that, third and two? Yeah. They just need one stop, one stop. One stop, come on. Come on, Titans. Tighten up, tighten up. Tighten up. That's what they like to say. Tighten up. He used to get on my nerves when they said that, bro, going up against the Ravens. Come on, man. Tighten up. Prescott on play action. Rolling to his left. Mm, they did the play action right there. I think real life they running that, bro. Real life they running that, bro. That should have been that should have been Elliott up the middle all day, bro. They, was not, they can't they can't stop him, really. When they did kind of that drive, but 14-3 into the first quarter. Mm. Big punt. God dang. That boy is taking steroids in this league. Golly. It's been very much a slow a really start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's I'm surprised he didn't try to get him inside the 20, game. though. They've got to find a way I guess, to I guess they don't care. In end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Meanwhile, Tannehill's throw pulled in by Woods. And he's going to mm. get seven out of this before being taken down. At the That's a nice short seven. pass right there. When you see his own defense, get this, get the, you know, uh, get a little bit of momentum going. Three really yards, really two plays to get three yards. I like that. I like those odds. Even, even without Derrick Henry, he got a lot of those three. odds. Now passing again, another short play, almost intercepted. Oh, that those crossing routes, man. Those crossing routes were tricky, man. Yeah, school holidays, bro. Uh, he doesn't go back until next Monday, I believe. Yeah, next Monday. The offense on third down tonight, just one for Only two weeks on his last week now. It's going by fast for me because I'm working, but I'm pretty sure it's right. Nice and chill for him. Big first down. That's a nice third down conversion. Tannehill currently 7 for 10 after that first pass, first interception. He's uh, settling in in this game now. Getting a little bit comfortable. Tannehill holidays for six weeks. That's a lot. That's a Tannehill now to throw. Yeah, OG. Just predictions, man. You know how I do, man. That's that's where that's my bread and butter, bro. This is my first time doing a uh, live cam reaction to it, though. Try to make it a little bit more entertaining. How you been, OG? Figure, figure we uh figure we do some live commentary. I got the uh the depth chart set up to the injuries for tomorrow night's game. To make it as realistic as possible. Got, got my little ten. realistic yeah, sliders on. Even got it down to the same down. time and weather. Trying to get as realistic as possible, man. Down. So but that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well. Just trying to see see what it's looking like just in case. You know, I decide to bet on the game nice and or not, you know what I'm saying? Just been arriving, just relaxing. Yeah, man, this is just chill vibes right now, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. He, 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 he threw it to Haskins. He threw it to the backup running back for a bomb down to the end zone, bro. Yo. Ain't no way the backup running back was catching that, bro. Instead, in this case... Ain't no way, bro. Big sacks, man. I thought it was a fumble for a second. Bad, I got you. Yo, that's wild, bro. Damn. I think real life, bro, it's no way they, they, throw, they throwing that to the backup running back, bro. If that was a real receiver, bro, that was a catch. It should be 14-10 right now, bro. I ain't even gonna lie to you. It should be 14-10 right now. The game was doing stupid stuff. But I mean, I mean, I guess it's kind of tricky, though. I mean, you're not going to expect a running back to just do a wheel route on you. <laughs> or a fucking ball down to the end zone. 
he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. From the 26, the play has kind of slowed down, but it looks like the Cowboys, uh, Cowboys might score on this drive. We'll see. That's Gallup on the slam. It's based on how the momentum went from last game. Man, I didn't this really do nothing. I just uh, the took the kids over my mother so house. And nice they, they got gifts there. for real the over there. And I just ate and I slept for real. That's about it. And then I, uh, I think I streamed that night too. That's my first time streaming at the month. <laughs> <laughs> Not to tip interception. Let's go, baby. Let's go. We needed that. Well, I don't know what I'm saying. We <laughs> they needed that. Let's go. From the interception to a first down. Get that momentum. Get that momentum back. That was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. He had to work that night. Was it busy that night? Oh, I thought it was a fumble, bro. Mm. Couldn't hold on to it. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. We'll see. They, they could at least come with, come away with three. Oh, my God. That was a terrible pass. A little few drunk people, but it wasn't too bad. That's good, bro. Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. To the air again, hmm. Tannehill. Third and ten. He just slung it, and he caught it. Oh, my God. Get out of here. <laughs> That's such a fluke catch, bro. <laughs> The oh, man. They do have a dope ass tight end, though. I think his name is Austin Hooper. Something is it. Austin Hooper. Is I can't remember. Amari Hooper. I don't know. Kid free for two nights to New Year's Eve night. Oh, that's dope, man. I know you're enjoying that, bro. Are you, are you going to stream? Are you going to stream during those uh, two days off? Two days of kids free? Mmm, he got it. They didn't get that to him? That's crazy, bro. That definitely won't complain, bro. His last name is Westbrook. What? He got two last names. Oh, that was definitely a touchdown, bro. They hold him. Oh, my God. Don't get sacked, please. Yo. This is no, no, that's not realistic, bro. That is not realistic, bro. That's not realistic. Your part does that work tomorrow, so you'll be on for sure. All right, bet. What time would that be? So I can make sure I'm on Twitch because I don't always be on Twitch. Oh, that's a good. Oh, that was a good route, man. That was a good route, man. You have some weapons at your disposal that we don't mm. often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. It should be 14 10 right now, it. bro. No matter, I, no matter how you slice it, this should be 14 10 right now, bro. They, they hold in the Titans right now in the simulation. Here's Tannehill. Oh my, what? They is holding the Titans right now, bro. Well, I mean, just let me know what time you think you might be on. I can already calculate the time it'll be for me. 
Like, let's say you said you'll be on, like, I don't know, noon, your time. That'd be, like, 7 p.m. for me. Okay, yeah, so that'd be around, like, 8 or 9 p.m. for me. Which is dope, because I'll probably be on around, like, 10 or 11. Probably training around then. So it's 14-6. They hold the Titans twice, man. I'm only upset because I think uh, I think the simulation, you know, could be more accurate for real. Like he definitely should have threw that ball away. This man ran back 13 yards, bro, and got sacked. Like, what the hell? Taking it about the one. Mmm, big juice. And he'll get Still it got caught. The 20 to the 21 yard line. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. As the offense comes out here, Charles. Uh, maybe yeah, I don't know if you're still in here, bro. How was your holidays, man? You, with your, uh, your kids, uh, one, you have one kid or two kids. They get anything uh, that, that they enjoyed this, uh, this Christmas? That's a, that's a nice, nice defense, nice defense. It's good to see that they've got some good, uh, some good run defense uh, this quarter. They definitely was getting a little, a little ran on, getting run down on first quarter. Ah. Oh. You're just out there, bro. Oh, thank you for the biddies, Scotty. I appreciate you, man. For the 10 biddies. Big love, man. Hey, you making it rain, man. <laughs> thank you, bro. Thank you for the for the 10 biddies. Another 10 biddies. <laughs> Yo, Scotty, bro. I appreciate you, man. Big, big love to Scotty, man. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. And he's able to oh get my the goodness, man. Dang, Scotty, how much is that, bro? That's wild, bro. Golly. You got to do all that, bro. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate the love. Shout out, OG. Oh, I think I came in, uh... Oh, no. <laughs> you forgot you had biddies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it'd be like that, bro. Like, when you get, uh... You got bottom biddies, man. And then they get you leftovers, bro. They be doing that so you get it up by and more, bro. I appreciate you for the love, man. What was that like? Golly, I can't even count how much that was. I appreciate you, man. CD Lamb trying to get his team momentum back. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping. I think I think they're I think they're gonna try to go for a score before. Uh, Thank you, thank you. Yeah, definitely, man. We've been here since day one, bro. Definitely appreciate you. Big stops, big stops, uh, second down. They're actually doing pretty good with the run defense. Let's see, uh, oh, two minute warning. Let's see if they're going to go with another run, man. The run has not really been working for them in the second quarter. Titans always been known for having good defense. It's just they a little bit banged up this week. Eat to see it, man. That's such a cheap way. Ah, uh, definitely, bro. Definitely appreciate you, man. 
was a lot of fun right there because that Damn, was man, you the hate game. to give up a third, a third, uh, third down with that, uh, that a little hurry. hitch route. Man. Hate completion. to see it. Mm, they about to put that pressure on him now, bro. Right that was that was the that was the moment right there, man. He had to get a stop right there. It's just too much momentum now. They about to get they about to get six. They about to get six. Probably thought he's gonna take it upfield, then he curls back inside for the completion. From the red zone now. That's, yeah, that currency rate is, is terrible, man. It's pretty, so it's pretty much like you gotta earn three times as much to do the same over here, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, so it's about two times, one and a half times more. To the air again, Prescott. Come on, what you doing? Near the sideline, this what was is that? Shorts. First down. down the Damn, man, it just, out of it just destroying this defense, man. The they doing whatever they want, pretty much. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. Throwing Prescott. How you liking uh how you liking the new Pokemon? And he's able to get it down to the two yard line. The you beat the game yet? Their second time out now. As they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Dang man. Cowboys uh, is owning this clock right now too. From the two now, second and goal. Need to finish the Pokey Ducks. Bet how many uh, more Pokemon are you missing? Dak's gonna mm. and he will take it What a play, man! What a play. Dak Prescott scoring on the two-yard keeper. And the Cowboys would it would have been a touchdown either way, because Elliott still got in anyway. <laughs> uh, Alright, I got you. 21-6. And now to give us momentum going into the second half. Give us that cushion that we're looking for. This seems realistic. You know, I believe it should be 21-10. <laughs> Not going like, never gonna stop saying that. It should be 21 10 right now. Touchdown. Let's see if the Titans can uh see if the Titans can score uh and this will not be score six out of the back of the end zone for in 46 seconds. The Titans gonna go back on offense here late in this first half. Well not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can Damn, get so you gotta get uh 26 more. Alright, bet. Down by two scores. You know where region is they in? First down, Tannehill. Ooh, where was that at? Where was that at when it was a, supposed to be a touchdown, bro? Where was that? Where was that catch at, dude? They'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. What, what happened to the lights? The Titans gonna go back lights on going offense out. here late in this first half. And with great starting field position and a couple of timeouts at their disposal. Oh, yes, yeah, so we probably got a trade here. for some of them, bro. <clears throat> yeah, he probably got traded for some, but I think that is the case. You probably got all of them in the game that, that you guys probably got trade for the rest. Ooh, a catch with a stiff arm attached to it? How did he do that at? Hey, you catch the ball mid stiff arm. That's crazy. That means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime.
Oh, raids. Okay. I got you. Back to back, good plays. Have them on the move on first down. Hey man, they working. They 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 definitely trying to get at least three. Ooh, almost intercepted, man. Risky. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. I see what they do. Second and 10, 30 seconds left on the 37. Oh, why are they and running it, man? That's, that is a terrible play call right, right there. The if you don't have now Derrick Henry. Use their third and final timeout. Second and 10. You're trying to score the before half. the... I don't know what I'm saying. That's just terrible play calling, man. Then you had to burn a timeout for it. Terrible play calling. There the Cowboys here on third down, bringing in an extra defensive back. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. Okay. Yes. They don't got no timeouts. Are they going to huddle? Where's the huddle at? They're not even huddling, bro. You see what I'm saying? So we have reached half time nah, bro, that's, that's cat, bro. That's, that's cat, bro. It should be like 21-13 right now, bro, at least. It should be 21-13 right now. This is so stupid. In my head, it's 21-13 right now. That's what, that's what I'm calling it. Flushed out right. Got a man, it's Brown. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having mm, three in the first half. That was an easy first down. That's another beautiful Golly. throw right there. Gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. Mm, wide open, golly. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the Prescott is 16 for 20 right now. He's eating this defense up. A lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Mm, another, what in the world? He broke a tackle? Get out of here, bro. <laughs> Get out of here, bro. <laughs> that can't break it on tackles, bro. Position as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react. Even and he got the first down. That's crazy. More in today's NFL, they're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards mm, down. Big stop. Okay. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. That was a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. Big stop. They've been stuffing the run ever since uh, first quarter, man. That's all. That's good to see. And they get a sack though. No, another easy first down, bro. Passing defense is getting ate up this uh, this game, man. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get mm. down here. And now they're set up for the first and goal. Now Elliott. And he is hey, it never runs stop, though. He goes down right there. You love to no see it, man. Play that time, and it sets up second and goal. And now defensively, you have to look at this like the game's on the line. It's just the third quarter, but another touchdown given up here can really spell an end to their chances. So they need yeah, to Yeah, they put up six right here. That's wraps, man. 
On second and goal, where's mm. the option? And this is going to result in losing yardage. <laughs> I don't know why they keep doing that run, man. I don't even think they really run that play like that. I don't realize. I don't know what they're doing. They done ran three, that's that option three times of like 10 threes, I think. That's... He got way too much time. That's crazy. That's crazy. Ain't no way. Oh, my God. <laughs> Golly, bro. All that space, yo. Dang. Yo, in my mind, bro, it's 28-13, bro. Ain't no way, man. Ain't no way. He's got it they destroying them, bro. It's 28 to six. 28 to six, man. It should be 28 to 13 now. They hold. They hold the Titans twice in the simulation, man. I ain't gonna lie. Let me see. Uh, let me see what the uh, what the other stuff on here is like. Uh, <clears throat> they got passing props. So Following for the touchdown, but, here's Mar to kick it away. Got it. Okay. Take it in at the three. Well, that was a terrible kickoff. Just got down the to Titans 25. The gears up for their first possession of the second half. And their halftime hole now so even this, deeper. And they need a big drive so, uh, here just touchdown to the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. Yeah, Dak, so Dak Prescott, they got him uh, over or under 1.5 passing touchdowns. Just gotta get back but, to like, he's definitely right? going to be Put over. Anybody interested in that? And try and get back to where you were to start the half. Mm, that's a they call that as a pass interference. That's crazy. He definitely went for the ball. Hey, I'll take it, man. I'll take it. And he's got the hook up here. It's Woods. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football right now. I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do, where they are in this game. Damn, big first they down. Push the ball downfield. Take their <clears> shots. <throat> try and get big chunks of yardage. We'll see if they can put up six, get, get a little bit back into nice this game. From the gun, I don't see... I don't see any uh any uh pass touchdowns for his cannon here. So hopefully he can be in. He might not be in. We'll see. Over under for uh that Prescott passing yards is two hundred and thirty five. If they hope to get back into this game, like he'll probably be over that also. Especially because the uh Titans defense is so banged up. Stopped at the 28 on a play that started mm, that a When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football here. A nice route, able to look it in and picks up the first, first down. On first and ten, Tannehill. Hmm. He keep trying to go for those, for those, uh, for those, like, uh, those posts in the end zone, man. It's, like, not working out for him. Damn, Scotty, how many dishes you got to wash, man? You letting them build up? Man, I, uh, 
Once it's like more than three dishes in the sink, bro, I gotta I gotta start washing over this, bro. <laughs> if I ain't trying to sit there for an hour washing dishes, bro. That junk be tough, man. Sometimes, it's, sometimes it is peaceful, though, when it's a lot of dishes. You just put on some headphones, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, I mean, you got a bunch of you got a bunch of people, you know what I'm saying? Y'all eat one time, and it's like eight dishes in the sink, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ooh, nice. Ooh. Okay. Come on. Let's see if the let's see if the simulation is going mess mess with them again. Cause they was right here before and they only got a few points from it. So let's hope let's hope they don't get, get screwed away from six this time. But that's a nice throw and nice work after the throw and they're set up now with a first and goal. Hmm. Okay. Big six. Let's go. I think this game will be closer to what it's to what, to what it is right now, bro. Cause like did this, this series, it should be like 28, 20 right now, bro. They going for two. Okay, let's go get these two right right here. Ah, that was oh, I was about to say he's gonna come back for it. So the decision to go for two does not oh, sad. They leave him one away. Yikes. Deficit. Yeah, I forgot you. What y'all eat? What y'all eat for dinner last last night? Damn, man, man, they got the they got the six, but they tried to get get two points out of it. I failed terribly. Like I said, I think this should be uh, it should be twenty eight twenty right now. I ain't gonna lie to you, it should be twenty eight twenty right now. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown, and this will be a touchback as that sails. There's so many different ways you can bet. The offense coming back out here, plenty of energy ready to roll, looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown. Like, uh, last time out. I'm gonna and go, I'm gonna go over all the um bets to and break down like which which bets are gonna come true at the end of the game and see what bets could possibly come true uh, in real life and see just how just how close to real life our simulation and stuff is for real. And now we get into the psychology of the whole that late ass blitz, man. No wonder they. <laughs> Yo, come in late as hell off that blitz, man. Golly. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode. Really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. They find some open field here. Man, that was a big one. It was doing good too with the run, man, but eventually it just broke right down the middle. Mm. Now he has been a tough man to bring down all night. That's pretty much mean potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all. Challenging that defense, and on that go around, the offense won the challenge. Mm. Nice sideline catch. A nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Eight more yards this is crazy, man. They having a field day over here, guys. man. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. You got to <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making this... plays. Oh, my God. A play action. Yikes. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titan 16. A good pick up there, a 22. I don't know. They got the Cowboys at minus 12, the man. If the simulation wouldn't have screwed the Titans, it should be 28, no what, 20 right now. So, but in my right book, there, right the Cowboys still haven't covered the spread, man. In my book, man. Going to be, we'll see what the game is. Right now, I'm giving a... Uh, Right now, whatever the score is for the Tennessee Titans, I'm giving them plus plus eight. It was plus seven, but it's plus eight now because they had to do that two-point conversion. 
which they wouldn't have had to done if they wouldn't have got cheated in the first place. But <laughs> so, Off the play fake. we'll see. Oh my oh, goodness, can we get him? Right. Golly. <laughs> For a two-yard gain, second down. He was out there waving his arms. And when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. I don't know. Over under for Dak is um, one and a half touchdown passes. He only got one right now, even though there's 28 points on the board. So it's really, it's really, it's really trickier than what it looked like because they keep running the ball and they keep running the ball and yikes. So another touchdown there, and even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of mm. hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do so it. Technically, it's 34, <laughs> 34, 20. How to be 35, 20? Any play, they're rocking and rolling. Let me see what's the most points the uh, Cowboys have scored this year. And good, and that pushes the lead up to 23. Let's check this out. The most points they scored. Damn, they scored 54 points against the Colts not that long ago. They they put up points. They definitely put up points. Titans got a good defense, but they're hurt this this uh this uh their defense is hurt this uh this week. So we'll see, man. I mean, this is this is on pace with the with the. Uh, I think it's pretty realistic. Let me see how much the Titans really put up for real. The games. Put up games. Following the touchdown, oh. here's Mar to kick it away. These kickoffs have been trash in the world. And he returns this to the 22. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. They put up 27 against the like Packers. A do or die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, that's about it. Right here, right Most they ever scored was 27, so this game is over. This game is over, man. They never scored more than 27 points. as much time so they can get two more possessions. Now a throw here to his running back. Um, for dinner tonight, um, I had uh, chicken, mac and cheese, potatoes, and string beans. That's a lot, man. I was stuck, bro. Should have saved it for tomorrow. <clears throat> I was hungry. Got first down. Keep trying to run, man, with his backup running back to Norville. They know that old expression, it's not my night. Yeah, it was really good, man. Surprisingly, it didn't make me tired. Now, just thinking about it, it's me tired. I need to go live. Every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. <clears throat> mm, oh my goodness, you almost threw an interception, boy. God damn. Third and seven. Somebody got injured. Must not have been that big of an injury because they didn't even talk about it. I don't know. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Tannehill now to throw. Mm. That's complete to Westbrook Akine. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 38-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive. I think as far as the quarterbacks go for the Titans, it don't really matter pretty much who's behind uh, center. <laughs> Both are going to have the same type of stats for real. So, whoever plays. Ooh. That's not Haskins, Haskins, is it? That's Haskins. They just tried to do that earlier, and he just dropped it because he's a backup running back, bro. That's crazy that they caught that. That he caught that, bro. And he mossed somebody, too. That's wild that they gave him that. Mm. 
Why did he run to the right, man? This is why you the backup, bro. <laughs> Should have kept going up the middle, man. Ah, man. So now because of that, I'm not even going to get on the plus eight anymore because that definitely shouldn't have happened. <laughs> They get a plus two. It's still 35, 20. They get a plus two. 35, 20. For the two missed two point conversions. That's why they get a plus two. Because they should have just took the extra point both times. <clears throat> right. So, Cowboys still covering the minus 12. It'll be up 15. We'll see what happens. And That's a that big old boot. Golly. One of them is kicking it out the end zone. The other one can't even get it to the end zone. What's going on here? It's so weird. Is the, is the Cowboys uh, kicker that trash? Can he get it to the end zone? You're also not going pell mell like you would in two minute offense. This is what NFL offense is called four minute football. Take the clock out of the game. What they gonna do? Wind it down, but the same time, Ooh. keep advancing the ball. That was an ugly throw. But you still got a job he's done. Get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. CD Lamb just reached over 100 yards with that. I wonder if that's a prop. I don't know. Let's see. We're gonna take a look at all the props and bets that you can do for this game and see. Once again, match it with like uh. And just see what happens tomorrow. See how realistic my settings are compared to what happens in the real world. You know what I'm saying? Pretty sure it's going to be hit and miss. But the goal is to be as much hit, more hits than misses. You know what I'm saying? More hits than misses. If I can get six out of ten predictions right, then I'll take that every time. Eighty-three yards rushing now for Zeke, and he's got a first down. No doubt, those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches and have a five out of nine. They breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of eleven predictions right. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners. Big run taking block. Care of the football. Because you're gonna tell your quarterback. Only four hey, yards no though, but we're not gonna throw it in. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the I don't mean four yards isn't really a stop. You know what I'm saying? I'm guessing you'd say this is kind the of the key here. Grind out some yardage, yards work on that clock, down, see so. if you can continue to check it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue I'm trying to make it as much as IRL. Just in case, uh... In this case, we want a better one for real. We we'll use this to help them decide what to bet on for real. That's the goal for real. Just to have something that we can, uh, you know, enjoy and see how it how it how it ends up being in real life afterwards. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Another carry tonight for the workhorse Elliott. That's a big first down. The first down yardage before Ezekiel Elliott is about to reach 100 yards. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field. Their offense is just crazy, bro. That down is for both sides of the ball. You often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game. Their no offense doubt. is impeccable. Down conversion. <laughs> it's wild. And that is going to be a story they'll talk mm. about after this one. It's yeah, it looks like they're about to just go on the run mode, man. They're up. They're just trying to get home. I don't blame them. If I'm up, I'm up over two touchdowns. It's the fourth quarter. I'm just running the ball, bro. I'm trying to go home. Is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips. They're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys, they're just saying, let's just keep running it at them. We've got them now. Hey, yo, you know they running, bro. Still can't stop it. Third and one. And can they get a stop? Let's we'll see what they do. Yeah, who was that, bro? <laughs> That's the head coach, the on third down. They have I think they did fire the other for six for this point. They're up against a third and one situation. Mm. It's Yikes. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 27-yard line. The drive stays intact with a pickup of 13. 
Well, normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but the way that they passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you think he's going to walk away with six attack, here. They just got exactly way too much right. momentum. They've thrown it so well throughout the they're game. just doing whatever they want. This quarterback, I think he continues to do just doing whatever so. they want against this defense, yeah, man. This defense is broken down. They already injured. First down, it keeps them in a running situation. They ain't got no more fight in them, man. This fourth quarter, they down two scores, maybe two and a half scores. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in the They like to call it a wrap, man. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. Not in any rush offensively. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 34. 24. They up the gain of They're probably going to pass the game just to try to get a first down. Right what if they run it and then just kick a field goal for real? Might as well, instead of risking a touchdown, or, uh, instead of risking an interception. Yeah, they, it looks like they're in a single back. Only got two wide receivers out to the left. They're running it. Right down the middle, too. And he'll have the first down, Yikes. getting this one to the 14 yard line. 32k points to burn. But yeah, I still gotta do that rap for you too. I think I might. Once I, once I switch over to the to the which I'll rap for you. They've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they turn to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him mm. and keep picking up good yardage. I was about to say, beat not in bounds. They're still throwing the football here. Now, obviously, yeah, the bet, bet. stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop any type of a running play. Short little passes may work. This In game is over, bro. Plays, keep the clock moving, keep them moving. Over. I guess you're right. If they can get some first downs, just as good as running the football. Mm. And he comes back with one complete. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards. Man, they just slowly the killing him, man. This <laughs> is crazy. Just slowly killing him. Got out uh, to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Got an extra defensive back out there for the Titans now here for third down. He said he's hot over there. It's hot over there. It's caught. It's getting a touchdown, Cowboys. It's a six yard Another six piece. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. He's got them out now to a three score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, CD. And well, he looked right off the line. It's like summer there. Ball was coming his way and he secured it for six points. Yeah, I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because when is your winner time when you got you got, you got not have winners like that no. just get it to me they already won the game so that's wild bro three score game do y'all have winters like that y'all got because y'all got different parts of the of the uh of the island for real that got different weather all the time don't you opposite oh damn So it's 42. It's 42 20 right now. It's a blowout, bro. I just want the game to be over so I can you know, the take a look at the vets for real. Away. See how things measure up for real. And this will not be returnable. It's oh, the Cowboys finally kicked it outside the end zone. Tennessee offense set to go again. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, mm, they well, just terrible. What is it now. They were going to get this plan in the league. Summer right now. Uh, All right, trials bro. and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league. That's stuff. So I'm guessing now, um, since you're on the half on the other side times. of the world, yeah, for, uh, so I guess the season's flip flop. Never thought of it but like that. Happen. You know, I thought we all experienced the same seasons together, but I guess not. Back to the air, Tannehill on second down. What you doing? Setting up the screen That's a for terrible Haskins. 
And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. It'll be a loss Man. of two, maybe three on the play. And that'll make it They just got to stay on the field long enough so the Cowboys the don't score again. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard. Had to the Cowboys the score again. I don't think I'm counting that, bro. Right now, it's 42-20. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. Oh, it's a screen pass. Going it's He's running back. And screen. he is going to so lose stupid. yardage here. This will wind up a loss on the play. get the ball back for three minutes, bro. No surprise they decided Golly. to throw on third down. A little bit of a surprise that they completed the pass and lost yardage on the play. Only snowed four times. Hey, that's better than nothing. It, uh... Desperation Do you like some? It hasn't really snowed that much here the past couple of years. We had a blizzard. Uh, about, maybe about, maybe about five years ago we had a blizzard. <clears throat> we used that. We had a crazy blizzard. Uh, like two two winners back to back, man. Like ten years ago, it was insane, man. How much money I got back then? And that is caught on the right side. Wait, out of bounds, what? Oh, that was too busy talking. They got the fourth down. They got the fourth and fourteen conversion. What? Hey, yo. How the hell they do that? This is actually the easy part of the game for them because I know it was a pass, but I wasn't paying attention. I thought it was the Cowboys doing that. The entire game using a variety of coverages. What? Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. Third and seven. Going to be made at the 38. You got the big lead defensively. last year, you had a uh, uh, stuff, right? Oh, and this is damn. You work on your tackling. Tackle them out How high did you get? Inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. We'll let it get to two minutes. Yeah, two minutes. All right, but third and seven, two minutes. Like 35 in the winter time. Damn. Yeah, that's wild. Y'all be having them big ass spiders there, like in Australia. I know you're in New Zealand, but those spiders are big as hell in Australia. Oh my god, bro. He threw an interception. <laughs> I wonder what the prop is for interceptions, bro. That's too much. Him and Willis can throw two interceptions next game. Run of the to the right. yeah, he's Man, he was running it. Down into Tennessee territory. Mm, he got two running to touchdowns. Down, it and one. I, I know you're think, trying to bring every yard out of a run, but yeah. I think nine yards there is ideal in this situation. I think situation. he got two running touchdowns. Yeah, now next couple uh, plays, you'll need one yard. Stuff. Keep that clock rolling with a lead here in the fourth. Yeah, what you're saying is maybe if it takes you one or two more runs to get the first down, that's extra time, extra plays. Everybody go on victory formation soon. Really team on defense. 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Golly. For, for the winter time, the that sounds like some global warming stuff going on, bro. I think, you, I think New Zealand is just in a weird spot, like, geographically. That's, that's probably why it's like that. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close mm. out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Trying and he'll take this ahead for about tired. four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Nice game, man. 42-20 in my book, like I said. <laughs> Even though it don't really matter compared to like the best and stuff. Yeah. It will certainly be a memorable win for them. And Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, this is meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show out. Mm. Let's take a look at the uh, these bets for real.
All right, bet. So let's take a look at the uh, who was the first? Because I know they said uh, let's well, let's take a look at the game first. So it ended up being forty-two to twenty. <laughs> so uh, that means the uh, Cowboys recovered the spread. It went from twelve to twelve and a half. So that don't really matter. That's still going. Uh, might want to bet that. Anybody that's watching this on YouTube. I know probably most people is probably going back to over anyway, based on the stats. Um, <clears throat> total, uh, 39 and a half over under. Definitely want to bet the over on that. Shoot, the, uh, the Cowboys can, can beat the over by themselves, for real, without the Titans help. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, it ain't even really worth betting the money line. Since you don't really get that much from it by picking the correct team if the Cowboys do win. And it looks like the, tight, the Titans will not be winning, so there's no point in even worrying about the money line. Um, as far as it comes with the other things that you can bet on here. Let me see. Um, they got touchdown scores. Um... It looks like the, um, let's see here. Who can you get the most out of for scoring a touchdown that was projected to score a touchdown this game? Let's take a look. Um, let's go to player stats and go to rushing Haskins got a touchdown let me see where's Haskins Haskins is at uh, Haskins is at plus 175 which means uh, if you bet 100 you'll get uh, 175 back uh, let's take a look at Westbrook though Westbrook I don't know how to pronounce that name um he was close to getting a touchdown in this simulation. He was at the one yard line, which was some BS for real. So, based on the projections, he will not get a touchdown. Um, but at plus seven hundred and fifty dollars per one hundred dollars. Um, I think you def definitely might want to look into that for real. You know what I'm saying? If you got if you could put up one hundred and walk away with seven fifty for a touchdown by this man right here, uh I think I think that's a I think that's a reasonable bet for real. Only had four receptions, so you know what I'm saying is definitely you know, hopefully makes the, the use out of his opportunities for real. Yeah, you know, if I was a betting man, based on what I saw today, I would definitely bet that based on uh, the odds, for real. Because it does seem possible. It does seem possible. Um, Okongwo, if I pronounce that right, he did not have a touchdown, only had one catch. Because I know he had one good, good, good moment. It looks like that was not a touchdown, so I wouldn't bet on him. Um... Uh, Let's see. Austin Hooper is at 750 also, though, which is surprising because he's a solid tight end for this team. But I guess he's not utilized in the um, red zone that much. He did not get a touchdown with his four receptions either. He didn't come close, though. Robert Woods did come close to a touchdown a bunch of times. And he's projected to go get 210 yards. So, I mean, for Robert Woods, he's at plus 475. So you can get 475 if you bet 100 and you get a touchdown. I would take that bet, too. That might be, I mean, I don't know why he's projected to go crazy like this against the Titans. Let me see what he be doing in real life. Let me see. Last game. This wasn't last game. This is the second to last game. Last game, receiving wise. T 
two receptions for 12 yards. That was two games ago. That's not good. <laughs> and, uh, last game, what did he do in the last game? Four receptions for 30 yards. I mean, I don't know. This seems fluky right here. This 210 receiving yards right here seem fluky, unless it's some sort of, like, matchup that he's exploiting next week or tomorrow I should say so maybe the four maybe the I, I take I take more better uh I take a better chance at the uh the 750 with Westbrook than I'll take on the uh the 475 with Robert Woods um as far as the first touchdown scorer the first touchdown scorer. Let's see who that was for real. Let's go to the uh, the highlights. Who was the first touchdown scorer of this game? I believe it was Ezekiel. Let me see. Where is it at? Oh, that's the fourth quarter. Hold up. Oh, I should just go to the scoring summary. Scoring summary. It was Ezekiel 13-yard run. <clears throat> uh for um he actually has the lowest odds but it's still a, a mean ass line it's a plus 330 so i think he might be a safe bet um so even though he has the uh the, even though he's most likely to do it um I still think it's worth going for for, for plus 330. Uh, the last touchdown score, that's kind of wild, bro. The last touchdown score, I don't think anybody should be betting that. <laughs> but if you're interested, it looks like it will be Gallup. And Gallup for the last touchdown score. And this is all DraftKings, by the way. Gallup for the last touchdown score is... What is his what is his odds? Is he even in the game? Hold up. Oh, his odds is plus twelve hundred. Plus twelve hundred as the last touchdown score. So we're gonna come back to this video and see what happens, you know what I'm saying? This will be uh, uploaded to YouTube. Uh, two touchdowns, score two or more touchdowns. Uh, Ezekiel uh, definitely scored more than two touchdowns, so that's a nice bet for plus 295. Uh, that Prescott is 4,500. I don't know if that's uh, going to count for running and passing. I believe it does. Dak is going to light them up. You got... I don't I mean I don't know if he's gonna be running in the red zone like this. So maybe you don't wanna do it. But for plus for plus four thousand five hundred, I think you should definitely take that. But you can also bet three touchdowns. And uh Dak is set to go for three touchdowns. Uh because he had uh he had the uh, the pass, passing touchdown, two running touchdowns, and another passing touchdown. So he did two passing touchdowns and two uh, running touchdowns. So if you don't think he'll get the two running touchdowns, he can still get the two passing touchdowns. Uh, so for the... Uh, for the uh, plus four thousand five hundred, and if you bet a hundred dollars and he scores two touchdowns, you'll get four thousand five hundred back. I would definitely take that, bro. I need to hold you. I would definitely take that, bro. <laughs> I, I, I would do it, bro. I don't even know why he is. Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> it got it got 
I don't know if that's like the actual person scoring it or if like passing. Like I don't know if passing wise counts. I feel like it should. So I think I think the the plus two touchdowns for forty five hundred is, is pretty good. Mm. All these other nitpicky stuff, so I ain't really gonna go into. Um, we got uh, passing props for passing touchdowns for Dak. It's over and under. Is uh, see, I don't, I don't really care about these because you don't really get that much money off of them. I mean, like uh. You know, like if you bet a hundred, you'll get a. <clears throat> you gotta bet a hundred thirty to get up to one hundred. You know what I'm saying? I'm like betting a hundred thirty just to win a hundred, you know, stuff like that. It's uh, it's uh, I mean, it's still a hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? But those aren't really as fun for real as the other ones that we were uh, just talking about. The ones that are less likely to happen. So, yeah, I think though I think we're gonna uh, stop it right there for real. Um, I don't know if people do like defensive props for real. I mean, we could do sacks. We can go. We can take a look at the sacks for real. See who got sacks. Yeah, so if it's minus, that means you have to put up uh, that minus in order to win a hundred dollars. So if a uh, if a bet is a, is minus one ten, you gotta bet a hundred and ten dollars to win a hundred dollars. So altogether, you'll win two hundred and ten dollars. You know what I'm saying? But it's just that you gotta risk more to win less. You know what I'm saying? Because it's more likely to happen. So that's why they got it like that. Um, let's see here. So let's go to defense and see what the sacks looking like. So for the sack prop on DraftKings, we got uh Demarcus Lawrence sitting at two sacks for this game. His over and under is point seventy five, uh, which pretty much means that he'll get more than two half half sacks or not. Um, so it's looking like if you want to do the, uh, over, uh, that's actually, uh, plus 115. So you might want to look into doing that. Uh, Micah Parsons, where is he even at? He did not record a sack in the simulation. So if you want to take the under on that, <laughs> that's a uh, plus 155. So that might be nice for real. To bet that um I don't know the way the, the way them quarterbacks was looking though I'm surprised he wasn't a part of those sacks to be honest because uh Tannen Hill did get dropped quite a few looks like Carlos Watkins had got one and <clears throat> Armstrong had got two got a four one and a half uh take a look at I don't really care about tackles I mean there is some money to be made there but not really like that field goals I don't really care about that um, they don't have one for interceptions that's kind of weird okay um they have game props which is uh kind of weird so like correct score they got a correct score game prop and technically i got the cowboys going 42 20 but i don't even see that as an option on these props let me see if 42 20 is on here how rare is 42 20 because i'm still scrolling i don't see 42 20 that might not even be an option. Yo, 
Why is there so many options? <laughs> There's so many options for the correct score. Um, dang, where would it be at? Where would it be at? 42-20, 42-20. How much money could we get if we bet 40, if we, if we get correctly guess 42-20 is the correct score? Let me see. I'm still scrolling, y'all, uh, and I'm at plus 8,000 right now. I don't think it goes any higher than plus 8,000. The closest one that I've seen is 41.17. Instead of 42.20, they got a 41.17. And that's for plus 8,000. So if you bet $100, you can win $8,000. <laughs> Hey man, it wasn't forty two twenty for real. But if you want to bet a hundred, you know what I'm saying. On that forty one seventeen, I think I think that's a likely uh, scenario too. Cowboys forty one, Titans seventeen. That's a possibility. Um, they got money on the winning margin too for real. If you want to bet the Cowboys win by thirteen to eighteen. How much did they win by? To me, they won by 22. To me, they won by 22. So, if you want to bet the Cowboys win by 19 to 24 points. That's plus 475. So, yeah. So, there's a lot of ways you can make money on here. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to look for a couple more. Uh, Bets for real. Just so I can go back to this video and see what happened. Um, yeah, so. I don't really, I don't really like parlays for real. It's parlays you get, parlays you get. Uh, I mean, it's the most common way for real to win money. But you gotta do like uh. Mm, you gotta do like a combination of the two bets for real. So. And it's not really, it's not really worth it. Um, I mean, the spread total for this game will probably be worth it if you take the uh, Cowboys uh, covering the twelve and a half right now. Currently, and going over thirty nine and a half, uh, you can, you know, turn two hundred and twenty dollars profit out of a hundred dollar bet. So. something to look into for real but i think that's i mean it's still more type of bets that you can do but they get a little bit more they get a little bit more uh niche down for real but uh that's that's, that's my uh that's my uh pr projections for real for this uh for this game this thursday night football game if y'all if y'all watching this on youtube let me know how y'all bets go for this game let me know if this uh if this video helps you with any predictions, any bets. And uh, we're going to go ahead and, and play some Witcher for a little bit before I go off to bed. So I'm going uh, to restart the stream. I'll see you in a little bit, Scotty.